Um, but it's, it's not quite about that, but just inspired. Um, and it's called Roadside Attractions. The roads stretched out for miles toward the bright blue sky. Our minivan chugging along, our only company, the sky with a couple of threatening bumper stickers, and the light on the oil tape indicators flashing bright. Our only company, the bumps in the road, and Fleetwood Mac on the radio. And you said, I'm bored. You said, it even looks out here as we passed rundown shacks and the desert just shrugged right back. The mirage shimmered and the magic mountains parted and looming high over the highway, silhouetted against the sky, the world's largest ball of twine. Why not? The next rest stop is in 40 miles, and we've got nothing but time, a couple of dimes for the toll, and 17 hours till we reach California. I'm bored, you said, and of course, we've been driving for hours, our only company, these four doors, the miles pile up and the hours run together, but we've been here before. We've been hopelessly bored in the wild, tired, wired afternoon of our youth. Yeah, that's just all a pretentious way to say high school. <laughs> We've been here before, hopelessly bored in a town without a movie theater or a mall, a town so stupid and small. Our idea was of fun was a whole lot of nothing. Driving in circles because our lives were still buffering, and we learned a lot of lessons. Yes, that boredom was a blessing. We learned that once we got together and once we've exhausted our life story and the weather, we have to make our own memories. Well, our own, write our own autobiographies. Last week I was forced to read Nietzsche, and okay, bear with me. <laughs> he said we're all just these tiny little beings floating in the abyss, drops in the sea, and when we peel back reality, there's nothing to see. And I don't know if I agree, but it's nice to believe that we write our own stories. When we get in the car, we're in the driver's seat, and we can pull over anywhere we damn well please. And one day, when the photos have faded and the memories have grayed, we might as well say we saw the largest ball of twine, the largest ball of paint, embrace the lame and the faux famous. Sometimes the greatest days start in the greatest places, and others happen like this. Sunburn, long term, where the hell are we? And crap, the Google Maps are down, soda from the general store, the only place for miles you can stop to pee. No, please pull over, I need to pee. <laughs> Breathe it in, turn around and see the road behind all the places you've been. We didn't plan it like this. We saw a billboard and took a gamble at something great, and hey, it was just okay, but being here with you made it. And as desert day starts to fade, as the golden hour melts away, we'll stop once more and carve our names in the sand. Not quite the biggest or the weirdest or best, but a roadside attraction to shout to the next, we were here, and we took our time. Stop and smell the fresh coat on the world's biggest ball of paint. I promise it's worth it.